Hello and welcome to Around the House with Kay and Tom and today I'm going to show you a little bit more about this uh, Ninja Foodi XL Pro Air Oven here. Now with all I did on it along my last video I forgot to tell you the dimensions of the thing and it stands at 13 inches high and from back to front it is uh, 15 inches and if you include the handle it's 17 and a half inches. You know, so, and from side to side, it's 17 inches. And by the way, it's got a whopping 1800 watt uh, motor in it here. So, now, let's try to fix something, let's try to cook a thing or two in it. Okay, now one thing we're going to do, we're going to make us a piece of cinnamon toast here. Spread some butter on this piece of honey wheat bread here. That. Now we'll get my uh, cinnamon here. Sprinkle a little bit on top. And now on this piece over here, let's go make a piece of uh, cheese toast. So let's take this is American cheese. Now you can use whatever kind of cheese you want on it, you know. But I'm gonna put it in there like that. Okay. Now we're gonna move it over here to our oven. Okay. Now we're gonna come right on over here to the oven here and. Lay these two pieces of toast down in here. Of course you could get many, many, many more in here than just these two pieces. But I don't feel like wasting a lot of bread today, so <laughs> just get about what I can eat. Now, last time I, I, I experimented with toast in here, it said put this on uh, the rack on level three. And so it's got it, it it's about impossible to see for me even right here, so I know you're not going to see it on the camera, but it's uh, it's got it marked here. It starts at the bottom and goes one, two, three, and four. Okay, so now we're going to push it on in there and we're going to shut the door. And you're going to turn on the power here. All right, that's on bagel. Now, see, you go over here to your function, you've got your plus and your minus. And so we want it to go up to toast, and so we'll say minus one maybe. Nope, plus one. All right, toast. Now it's got your slices here, and so you go over here and it's got a little button here that says slices on it. No, that's got level on it. This says slices on it right here, and you go, you go minus it to two. Okay, and now we're going to leave it on shade three, and we've got it on level, and it tells you right here, rack level three, and that's what we've got it on, three, and so then we'll go hit the uh, start button over here on the right, and there it goes, that says these are going to be done in three minutes, and so we'll be back in a couple of minutes just to see what progress we got going here. Okay, now it's down to 33 seconds, or 30 seconds, so, and it's looking pretty good in there. Except for that cheese dripping, <laughs> has a whole piece of, there's a hole right in the middle of that uh, <laughs> piece of bread. And so, of course, the cheese is just running right on through it. <laughs> you know, so, we're going to see right here in about five more seconds. Oh... Okay, it's come to an end. Oh, this looks pretty good. Now, I think, I don't know if y'all can see, but that little cheese piled up right there on that drip pan, I mean, on that uh, crumb catcher. So, slide this on out here. I think, well, I don't know either. 
I started to say I think I would put it on four next time, but the way the box now this this is uh, pretty toasty right here. Now as soon as I can get it to where I can handle it, I'll I'll pick it up and turn it up so you can see it. No, I wouldn't make it any darker either. For me, this is perfect for me. Toasted like that, and it's starting to toast around the cheese, you know, and the top of this is getting toasted. So, next thing I want to do is try it and see how it is. Okay, I think I'll eat this piece of cheese toast first. Pretty good right there. Okay, now the next thing we're going to try is just a little can of these uh, Pillsbury canned biscuits here. These are butter tasting biscuits. So it says on the direction here 400 degrees for 8 to 10 minutes, 8 to 11 minutes. And so we're going to open these up and put them on this sheet pan right here and see how they do. Okay, now we've got them all laid out here on this sheet pan here. Now let's get back over here to the oven and see what we can do about baking these. Okay, now I think the last time I looked, it said to, uh, let's see if I can get this little piece of cheese off this uh, sheet down here now that's cooled off a little bit. I'm going to tell you what, if you try to get it off while it's still hot, it's just going to smear on you. But anyway, back to the biscuits now. We're going to put them in here, and I think it goes on level 3 again. If it's different, we'll change it. But we'll put it on level 3. We'll shut the door. Come over here and turn the power on. Okay, and now it's on toast, so we want the function to go over here to... Uh, and we'll hit the plus or minus, and so we'll hit the plus until it just gets over to uh, bake right there. Now it's got 20 minutes on it. We don't want 20 minutes. We'll go bring it down to uh, to uh, 10 minutes. And we'll go just hit this minus button right here. It's 10 minutes. And now the uh, temperature will run up to 400 degrees. Just like that, and now we'll hit the start button. Okay, now it's going to preheat first. So I didn't, what, didn't know that it was going to preheat like that, or I wouldn't have put the stuff in yet. But it does, now the thing about this thing is, though, it only takes it two minutes for it to preheat. And so that won't take but just a second or two, and then it'll start counting down. Okay, now it's preheated, but like I said, it took two minutes for it to preheat, and now it's starting to count down at 10 minutes. So we'll keep eye on it, and we'll be back. Okay, now it's got, uh, it's down to almost two minutes left on this 10 minute cook. I want to tell you what, those biscuits are beautiful. They never look like that coming out of the regular oven. And they never smelt this good either. They got a different flavor. Well, they can't have a different flavor to them, I don't guess. But they sure do smell good. <laughs> and that's, uh, we're going to take them out here in a minute. I don't know if I'm going to let them have the other minute 45 or not. I guess I will just to see. Okay, now it's down to about 14 seconds left here. So, And they really look good in there. Well, you can if y'all uh, are... Now that you got a chance, if you can, join our channel and give us a thumbs up. We sure would appreciate it. And thank you very much to you folks that uh, watches our videos. And that's the end of the uh, these are These are gorgeous looking biscuits right here. See those? Are, they're perfectly golden brown. Just like they're supposed to be. I will take them out and put them over here on this uh, on these pot holders. 
I don't know if you're a fan of can little canned biscuits or not, but I'm going to tell you what. Now these are really nice looking right here. And so we'll see if I can touch one. Get it off the sheet. There you go. Touch that one over. That's hot. And I don't know what's got that one stuck. Okay. Right, come. So, look how flaky. I gotta let it cool for a second before I can touch it and I'll be back. Alright, let's see if we can get this thing open here. There it goes. A little bit of butter. Now I said a little bit, not half the thing. Hmm. Now just a little bit of good old Smucker Strawberry Preserves. <laughs> just like that. Put the top back on him. Now don't that look good? <laughs> hmm. Let's try it. Now I'm going to tell you, you can make a meal out of this right here. <laughs> this is really good. Okay, now I'm going to try something different. I got this Marie Callender chicken pot pie here. Now these are really good to me. But I just hate cooking them in the microwave, you know. So we're going to try and do it in this oven over here and just see what it'll do. Now it says for a conventional oven, it says take aluminum foil and cover the crust. And that is like this, I guess. And then it says bake on 400 degrees for 50 minutes. Okay, I hate having the crust covered up like this because I'm not going to be able to keep an eye on it, you know. So I don't know if I'm going to leave the lumen full on the whole time or not, but we'll see. Okay, now this time, since that wants to preheat, I'm going to go ahead and hit the power. And we'll leave it on bake at 400 degrees. So if I'm going to run the time up to 50 minutes, just like I said. I can't imagine it staying in there that long, but you can't never tell. Just like that. Now we'll hit start. And we'll let it preheat. And when it finishes preheating, then we'll put it back on in there on level three. That's where it wants to be. So we'll be back in about a minute and a half. Okay, now there. And don't stop and say add food or anything, it just lets you know it's preheated and it's getting ready to start counting down. So we'll go slide it right on in here. Like that, and then we'll go shut the door. And it just takes off automatically and then we'll be back in a couple minutes to, to uh, see what's going on. I'm just going to try to keep an eye on it the best I can and see how it looks. So we'll be back. Okay, that's been going a little over 30 minutes here. I'm going to... I just can't help but take a look at it and see what we got here. Pull it out just a little bit. See if I can grab this one will fall without burning myself too bad. Hmm, that's browning up really well. I don't know if y'all can see from that little glimpse or not. But I want to stick this thermometer down in there just to see what it looks like. And... It's up to 110. It needs to be about 160, 165. So, we'll put that back on there and let it go again. But I'm really happy about the way it's uh, 
brown it up. That really looks nice. All right. So we'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, now it's coming up on 45 minutes. I'm going to give it another temperature reading here just to make sure. I don't want to dry it out if I can keep from it. So let's open the door. Of course, it smells really good. Oh, pretty brown right there. How long time we going to use that luma for where it needs to be cooked anymore or not? Now, let's see what the temperature is here. It is 170. Alright, that's ready to come out of there now. So let me take it over here and Set it on these two little pot holders again. Ooh. Well, let me tell you, that sheet pan is hot. Okay, well, take me a fork here and see if I can get it just a little bit. That's actually too hot to mess with. I need to let it sit. I'm going to let it sit here for a couple minutes. I'll be back. Okay, now I've given us 35 minutes to cool off here a little bit. I'm getting under this crust right here. That's exactly what I was looking for, that nice flaky crust. You still see it smoking down in there. Now let me tell you, that crust never, never, never got that way in the microwave. I don't care what you did to it. It would never get like that. And this would never look like this either. I mean, that is that is a good pot pie right here. Mm -mm. Now, I'm going to enjoy this pot pie. Okay, that about does it for this little video. It's just a couple, just a few little things I want to show you what you could do in this. And I was sort of experimenting with it too. And I was Next video is going to be a little bit more complicated than just doing the bread and the pot pies. We're going to start doing some cooking in it. So, until then, y'all have a good and safe day. I hope you come back and see us real soon. I hope you enjoyed this video because we sure did enjoy uh, making it for you. And uh, until the next time, y'all have a real good and safe day and come back and see us real soon. And thank you again for watching our videos. Goodbye now.